Every day, local farmers bring their agricultural waste to this biomass power plant in Dangshan, Anhui province. It is operated by Hong Kong-based Everbright International and located a two-hour car drive from Suzhou, which can be reached after a three-hour ride by bullet train from Beijing. Forest and agricultural residues such as wood chips, corn, straw, peanut or rice husk can be used to generate electricity. Environmental protection is a nationwide issue. In the past, the only way to deal with forest and agricultural residues was to burn them in the field, which caused air pollution. Now we use them with biomass technology to generate power. That is environmentally friendly and it can improve the lives of farmers at the same time. Our mission is to turn waste into wealth. Local farmers and delivery drivers say the plant creates jobs in the economy and improves the living standard. These biomass materials are transported from a town 10 miles away from here. I send the materials to the power plant once a day. The load is put onto the scale at the fuel delivery point and then brought to the storage area. From there, the crop residues are collected, added to the supply mix, and inject it into the feeding system and finally into the main boiler. Around the clock, plant workers monitor the heating process from the central control room. At present, we can produce 200 megawatt of electricity every year or consume nearly 150 tons of forest and agricultural residues. The electricity that is generated by burning the biomass sources is then added to the country's state grid. China is the largest producer and consumer of electricity in the world and also a significant contributor to global pollution. Power generated from burning biomass sources has been developing rapidly in China, but so far the country is only using about 5% of its total biomass potential. Fossil fuels, especially coal, still make up almost 90% of the current energy consumption. Experts say biomass has less impact on the environment than fossil fuels and could help solve some of the pollution woes. For the future, there will be more biomass used in energy production. One of the main contributing factors for the air quality uh, for PM 2.5, uh, we learned from scientists in China and U.S. scientists, they all said burning too much coal in China is, is not good. The government aims to cut the use of coal to below 65 percent and raise the share of non-fossil fuel energy to 13 percent, boost nuclear and renewable energy and shut down old polluting mills and factories. Biomass and related technologies are likely to grow further. Nowadays, 30 percent of biomass power plants in China, like this one, use DP cleantech solutions. DP Cleantech was founded in 2004 and has its largest office in Beijing. It built the first biomass power plant in China. Today, the company provides clean energy solutions to around 80 biomass and waste to energy plants around the world, using technology originally developed in Denmark. Palm oil plantations, sugar refineries, they have thousands upon thousands of tons of waste. At the moment, that gets burned in open fields and causes environmental pollution. Again, instead of that energy being lost and the pollution being created, we're able to capture that energy, we're able to clean um, in the process and put the nutrients back to the soil. Parker also says that biomass could increase energy security. There is and there needs to be a growing industry of energy crop dedicated for biomass. This we see coming in China, it alleviates desertification which we're seeing happening. It enables you to use marginal lands that can't be otherwise used, again, to enhance energy security. So a very key component of the future of biomass globally, mm -hmm. as well as in China, mm -hmm. is energy crop. Mm -hmm. And we see a big future in that. On the flip side, critics have warned of negative impacts, such as the need for vast land to grow biomass, which could displace crops and push up food prices. Martina Fuchs, CCTV News, in Dangshan, Anhui province. To the real estate